Where am I right now? Oh, where am I? Ooh, emergency. Down here in down here in Thomas Paine Park. The real Thomas Paine, not the phony. <laughs> Thomas Paine, give you a little history of Thomas Paine before I do this walkthrough. You're gonna love this man. This, this shit is you cannot make this shit up in America, man. Bombs going off and fucking crazy shit going on. That's Thomas Paine right there. It's actually called uh, Foley Park. My country is the world and my religion is to do good. Thomas Paine, 1792. So I'll give you a little tour. So That's uh, New York State Supreme. That's Federal Civil Court. FBI building. Pow. Alright, so where am I today? Proof of life. The uh, There's 12 bombs. <laughs> 12 bombs. 12 people shot in Ventura, California. Two days after election day. Democrats took the house. So, Caesar Altare Sayak. Sayak. Psyop. <laughs> is that what we're calling him? Caesar Altari Psyop. Now, where is he? So, if you've been following along, <clears throat> you know that he's in the Southern District of New York, right? We saw him. We got an eye on him. Give you that angle. All right, we got an eye on him. We saw him, right? I, I saw him. I was in the court. So, he's real. And he's in the Southern District with judges appointed by the liberal Mario Cuomo. Excuse me, Andrew Cuomo. His father was Mario. His father was also a governor. And his brother works, on C works for CNN. <laughs> you can't make that connection up, right? That, that Cuomo, CNN, right? Chris Cuomo is Andrew Cuomo's brother. The governor of New York. Just, just a, just a little background, if you haven't heard. So this is called, you know, distract and divide, right? False flags, bombs going off, fake bombs, shootings. Are they real? Nobody believes anything anymore. Are they real? They don't seem to be, right? So I just want to show you where I am. This is, this is fascinating, right? So. If you go back to the tape where I was inside the court, I couldn't do it that day because it was raining. But this is the court, right? This is uh, 500 Pearl Street, right? So that's the supreme, that is the federal court building. And I was up on the 23rd floor, 23B, right? Where I saw Cesar Altari Sayak, the alleged bomber, right? And everybody wants to know, well, where is he now? Did they let him go? No. At least no, as far as we could tell. Ah, what's this? What is this? What is this monstrous building? Is it an apartment complex? People live in there? Hmm. How many floors? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, about 15 floors. Beautiful. It must be beautiful in there, right? Ah, so what is that? That's the jail. That's Metropolitan Correctional Center facility. Right? 800, 800 uh, uh, prisoners in there, right? Another interesting angle, I'll show you this angle too, is that... So there's, you notice also between the court, right? The court and the, and the jail, there's no, there's no bridge of size. You know the bridge of size? That's an expression from the uh, the Italian the Italian courts, the European courts. They had they called it the bridge of size because that's where the prisoners walked. They walked across that bridge to meet their fate. Right? Sometimes not a good fate. So those are the bridge of size that lead from the jail to the to the to a different building this is the attorney general's building but that's that's irrelevant right but that's probably for attorneys but the real the real passage for the prisoners 
you see the jail and you see the court it's actually underground right according to the according to the published record the prisoner walks or is transported somehow underground from correctional facility to court so he never sees the light of day right and you could I, I put all the information down below you could drop you could look look it up too but you now have his location you could ID it it's there he's in there right so the bomber the 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 the, the answer to our mystery lies in there yeah. southern state of New York Manhattan yeah. will we ever will we ever hear from him my opinion that so he's one seven seven eight one hyphen one oh four that's his name Caesar Altieri Sayak so on Monday the I believe it's the 12th we will see a uh, preliminary hearing of some sort oh to clarify about um, uh, uh, acquittal um, was he um, Arraigned, not arraigned. What's the word I'm looking for? Indicted. Ah, indicted. The word, the I word. That's what I was looking for. Is he? He is indicted in in the sense of federal prosecutors accusing. That's an indictment. But he was never indicted by a grand jury. Just to clarify that, in court, the judge was specific to say that that there was no uh, grand jury indictment, and that could still come prior to the twelfth. So. So I know, I know that this is, I know we like to run on to the next, because we're already on to the next one, right? We're already on to the, you know, today 12, 12 people are allegedly shot in Ventura, 12 college students are allegedly shot, right? And we want to run on to the next one, but what about this one, right? Why don't, why don't, we, why don't we continue to put out the fire here? Because this is a fucking fire right here, right? There's a, there's a, a lot of answers lie in that building. In terms of the, the, did this guy do it? Was he put up to it? Did he do something else and, and it was a bait and switch? Is he a CIA agent and he's not even in there? They gave him a new identity and he goes out the back door? And why the Southern District of New York? The liberal judges, the liberal governor? Who's the greatest, who's the biggest anti-Trump governor in America right now? Andrew Cuomo. Right, his brother, they, they, the guy targeted his brother at CNN, not specifically, but CNN. You see the connection. You see the connection. You see what's happening to our country. That there's no longer a division, a separation of powers. Judicial gone wild. Right, legislative gone wild. Executive gone wild, right? There's no more. There used to be three separations of power with a constitution above it. Not anymore. Now it's all, it's it's money. It's who pays goes up. The money goes sideways, down, up and down. Uh, so I'm not going to get too too into that. But but I just wanted you to see on the record that according to the record, Caesar Altori Sayak, the alleged Patsy bomber who sent 13 bombs to prominent Democrats prior to an election, and arguably had an influence not as big an influence as they wanted that's why they're doubling down but in fact did have an influence on the testimony of the president of the united states that he did spoil momentum right now is he completely guilty do we really care no who put him up to it is really the the mystery and we may never solve that mystery but there's two types of evidence there is direct evidence where there's the smoking gun here's the gun and there's the body right or there's there's a credible admission of guilt right or there's a video of the guy shooting somebody else right Cre that's that's what's known as direct evidence and in this case we don't have direct evidence see what we have is a, a preponderance of circumstantial evidence 
that suggests he's innocent, right? That's really what it is. And it piles up. So don't think that, oh, you could never prove it. Well, you, you actually can. Because the courts are so fucked up right now, they're changing the rules, right? Circumstantial evidence. No, 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 we can't. We're not going to listen to that. But the, the, comp- the compounding of circumstantial evidence is evidence. So, for example, that they have not produced any bomb-making equipment, right? They haven't produced, you know, receipts where he bought the stuff, how he made it, how he manufactured it, postal stamps, money orders. How did he, how did he engineer the thing? There's no, no evidence in the record that suggests that any of that happened in a coherent way. Right? And we'll never find, I suspect that we'll never find it out because he's now in the Southern District, in the frying pan, where he will accept his plea. They will accept his plea. Guilty. Ah. And, he'll, and he'll, 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 he'll fade away into the woodwork. Because the real, pro, the real mission is over. Right? The, the mission is to steer an election to interfere the very thing that the Democrats cried wolf cried that Trump did with the Russians they're guilty of doing here I mean that is the story we may never have we may never get the whole story but damn straight the answer lies in that building and you have the address right it's down below write him a letter say hi Hey, how you doing, Cesar? How you doing, man? Fucking Cesar, the fucking guy. Hey, hey, man. I know you from Florida. Write him a letter. Look at the way you could get, you could, you could visit. He has to send you a letter, and then you could visit. Right? <laughs> the police always get nervous when you actually tell the truth. So they stand out front and they watch you. So anyway. I did a walkthrough over there. They're very, very uptight when you walk over there with a... With a or you're reading the signs. You get 10 feet by the building, they, they, and you got five police come out the door. So, it's not necessary. We're close enough. Right? Food for thought. So, uh, Marcus Conti reporting. Peace.